in Salesforce, all records have a record owner. Um, and this is important for many different reasons. It can impact uh, reporting. Um, it can impact uh, sharing. So if your organization has some, you know, level of, of privacy between different records of, of individuals, you may not be able to see everything in the system. And that is driven off who, many times that's driven off who the owner is. So uh, let's say you need to transfer a record to a different owner. For right now, we're looking at a lead. This would be the same process for any record in the system. And if I click this button here next to my name on the lead ownership field, I'll see that I'm able to either assign this to another individual or if my organization is using queues, I can also assign a record to a queue. Uh, so some common queues or maybe, um, you know, like a lead, a lead queue, or if you're on a support team, a case queue. Uh, for now, we're gonna leave it on people and we're just gonna assign it to our security user here. It's the other user in our test system and just click change owner. So now security user would see this pop up and any list views that they have filtered for you know, my insert record type, um, or if there was any reports that were filtered off ownership, this record would now come up in security users reports. Now, if I click on leads or really any object here, I'll come to a list view. Just like sending list emails and some of the other functions in our videos, if I select users or records here on the list view, I can go over here to the drop down and there is a change owner button. Now this button may or may not be available based on your organization. Um, you know, there could be reasons that your administrator took this away. Um, and you know, that's, that's valid just depending on how your system set up, what customizations, um, you know, you have running on, on, on the back end. So if it's not here, I talk to your Salesforce administrator. It's not, um, you know, a lack of, of, a functionality or anything like that. It's it's could more so be an administrative setup issue. So if I click change owner, same process here, you see I can pick somebody, uh, I can choose to send them a, a notification email or I cannot. Maybe if you're, you know, assigning a list of 20, 30, 40 things over, you may not want to send them a, an email. You might want to send them one email and let them know to check it out in Salesforce. And if I click submit, I can see that these records all changed to my ownership.